So as soon as I, I don't know. Shit. Ooh. So as soon as I woke up this morning, I needed to go to the store. I look so nasty. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm about to be cute tonight, so it don't matter. Just don't don't look at me too hard. But as soon as I woke up this morning, I need to go to the store. And I'm at Publix right now because I need to get this hot Italian sausage. But I'm just looking at myself. I really look a fucking mess. I'm kind of almost embarrassed. But at the same time, embarrassment is illusion. So I'm just not going to give a fuck. So this is literally hardcore proof that I do not be caring what I look like going out in public. Because it's really the rain boots with the shorts for me. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand myself. But nonetheless, I only came here to get my stuff from the grocery store. We're not worried about how people perceive me today. So I really came for the Beyond sausage that I just showed you guys. But as you can see, it was like $10. And I'm sorry, but $10 for one meat is kind of pricey to me. I like to meal prep and like stretch my foods out. So instead i went looking for the italian sausages by the garden i think that's how you pronounce it garden brand um i've actually eaten these before in a rigatoni dish and they were bomb so i was like yeah i'm gonna use these because i already know how they taste and yeah it's cheaper i got two bags of those for like four dollars a piece so like eight dollars which is way cheaper than one packet of beyond sausage I also found some chickpeas while I was in there, so that was pretty exciting for me considering I don't never really find chickpeas at like regular grocery stores and they were only 60 cents, so I was like, yeah, definitely get me a couple of those. I know that's really popular in the vegan community and I need that to like do a lot of substitutes. I got me some of the corn pieces, some more vegan cheese. I like this brand, Veal Life. To me, that's the best brand. Um, I got some vegan chocolate chips so I can make brownies later which is what i intended to make when i came to the store this is why i grabbed some extra flour i kind of mainly just picked up a lot of odds and ends just to like add to my collection and stuff you know being vegan it's a lot of things that you need to make uh you know adequate substitutes to make them taste good so i'm trying to like just have everything i need so i don't have to worry about finding them later the initial meal that i planned on making for later was a rigatoni pasta so that's kind of what i came out for and the stuff to make my sweet potato brownies um i don't know if i ever told you guys but i am a bottle girl so i work mainly the weekends um thursday through sunday sometimes so i like to meal prep for like my weekend and this is what the total of all my food came out to only 50 dollars, y'all that was really good $50 for a whole weekend's worth of food. That was really good. So I headed back home because it was early in the day and I still need to like get myself together and stuff so I can be ready for work. Um, this is me, the process of me making my little rigatoni pasta. Everything is dairy and meat free, honey. Um, I would say gluten free, but this is regular pasta. I have not found a good pasta substitute that I like more. I'm sorry. The veggie pasta is just not for me. And I love veggies, but it's just not going to cut it. It's not. This is what it came out looking like. I added some spinach because y'all know I'm big on the nutrients. If I could add some nutrients in there, I am. Period. So <laughs> this is what my food came out looking like. It was actually really, really good. I actually fixed one of my coworkers a plate and she loved it. They asked for seconds. So uh, I wouldn't call myself a vegan chef yet, but I'm a vegan chef. This is what my counter looked like after I was cooking. Yes, I'm a mess. Yes, this is how I cook all the time. And no, it doesn't bother me because I need to physically see all of my ingredients in front of me. It's weird, but um, if you know, you know. Anyway, I started making my sweet potato brownies. Y'all, they did not come out the way that I planned them to. I had to use peanut butter in them, and they just taste like peanut butter brownies. I'm not that big of a fan of peanut butter to have peanut butter brownies. They just, look at them. I mean, look at them. I mean, I don't even have to say much. Just look at them. They just were not it. So I don't know if I did the recipe wrong, but we're going to have to try these another day because they just, they just weren't it. This is me at work when I got to work. Um, I ended up having to do my makeup at work because I got there a little bit later than I usually do. The night was pretty good. This is my outfit, makeup, hair, accessories, all those deets. Um, I took some video footage, as you can see, before the club kind of got packed so you guys can like just see what it looks like. I didn't get a lot of footage this night because I was obviously busy working and I'm not going to have a camera in people's face while I'm trying to <laughs> serve drinks and stuff. So yeah this is you know some footage from that night it was pretty good 